Hello and welcome. Today I have Goshu here with me. <laughs> My newest, newest, he's not new anymore, but he's the newest uh, repaint that I did here on the channel. And uh, I was going through my uh, hard disk, cleaning up some old videos and stuff. And I found some videos that for some reason I never edited. And they aren't uh, bad. I just put them somewhere in a folder, within a folder, within a folder. And yeah, they were gone. <laughs> And uh, this now I'm, that's new, you know. The footage that you're looking at now is uh, new, but I found the progress of making a shirt for a can. And uh, I'm going to insert it here and show you that footage now. result and I'm gonna put it on him now there we go. I brought the camera in a little bit so you can see it a little better you know that's not gonna be like a very long video or, or anything I just found the footage I know it's a step-by-step -step footage which recently I figured out how to do a time lapse and uh, on my next video I'm gonna show you a little time lapse of doing something similar to this so here's the hint about next or the video after that you know one of the next videos it's already filmed I just don't know when I'm going to post it but anyways I just wanted to show you that you can I did already mention that shirt in some videos uh, a while back but I just wanted to show you that you can paint with acrylic paints and make a you know a hand drawn drawing on a shirt you know if you're comfortable of course with using paints and I should give you a fair warning about color transfer which I'm not worried so much about because I haven't had it happen yet but it doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen let's not forget that different paint brands have different pigments even though they you know might all be acrylic paints they might have uh, some pigment in them and obviously different colors too you know red and blue don't have the same thing turning them red or blue, you know, the same pigment. So some pigments might uh, transfer to your dough over time, but uh, I think you're relatively safe, especially if you're using these outfits for like an hour or two and then you uh, put your dough back into something else. And um, I, I think that's uh, common sense because you shouldn't be leaving your dolls in like black outfits that might transfer stuff so you know if you if they are going to go in storage don't leave them in anything that might stain them and uh, the same logic applies with this so i'm not gonna give you too much 
Well, I already gave you a lot of warning, but I had to just say it because I haven't had any issue with that, but oh well, uh, someone might. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a cool Iron Maiden t-shirt for my doll and uh, for my dolls. And maybe I'll make some more uh, groups that I like listening to or albums or something of that sort. I have some ideas. I have painted a bunch of shirts this way in my time and uh, the shirt is also handmade by me <laughs> you can tell by the back that it's not meeting up you know perfectly this is why I stopped using velcro because I can never with stretchy fabrics I while I'm stitching the velcro I stretch the fabric and <laughs> this is like longer because the fabric is stretched from the velcro but anyways uh, it looks better on the front and I'm not using Velcro as often anymore or if I'm using it, I use it on, on three small strips. This way the fabric doesn't you know, do what it has done here. But yeah, I now prefer snaps because yeah, Velcro and I, we don't mix too well together. I don't hate Velcro on store-bought items, I just don't <laughs> I'm not good at uh, sewing it to you know my handmade outfits and sometimes I ruin them thanks to velcro but anyways uh, I'm gonna stop the video here because I think you know I just wanted to share that footage that step-by-step -step footage that I had that I recorded a while back I don't know I recorded it you know, then which is a while back but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that this was useful to someone or at least entertaining if not useful. Uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you really find the video likable and enjoyable. And uh, if you have any thoughts, please share them down in the comments. I love reading comments and hearing from you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.